Venus, hellscape of the solar system. I made it through the trial by fire and was reborn like the phoenix from the ashes. I ran the gauntlet from the atmosphere, dealt with problem after problem after problem, and finally, I was defeated. Venus, beautiful banana planet, goddess of love, full of death, and my eternal resting place. By the way, watch uh, part one of this venereal adventure before you dive into this one. Okay, let's go! Is there any way to survive on the surface of Venus? Negative. Chances of survival on the ground are low. How am I going to survive a hundred days here if I'm not supposed to die a thousand times? A thousand times? At your current rate of survival, you will die 4,571.4 times during 100 days. Is there any way to survive on the surface of Venus? Venus. Negative. I guess I wasn't strong enough. I couldn't hack it. I guess I give up. I can think of a survival option for you. Oh yeah? Okay, spill it, Peter. Well, if you read the brief, you might recall NASA's Havoc plan. Yeah, uh, I think I'd remember a plan called Havoc. So yeah, I read it. Well, it was in the brief. Yeah, that's what I said. I do remember the plan called Havoc, because I read the brief. But, uh, you know... There's people watching this who don't know what it is, so why don't you pl explain it to them, tough guy? HAVOC stands for High Altitude Venus Operational Concept. In one word, airships, zeppelins. That's two words. Yeah, and here are two more. Cloud City. Okay, that was two. You see, NASA engineers already studied all the challenges of surviving on Venus, and came to a similar conclusion as you. Surviving on the surface is brutal. But to mitigate the heat, the atmospheric pressure, and the worst of the acid clouds, they thought, what if we just float above all that? Like in hot air balloons? Close, in solar-powered helium-filled airships and balloons. NASA came up with a multi-phase testing plan. First, they'd test a robotic airship in the Venusian atmosphere. Next, Move on to a bigger, 130 meter long airship. That's 425 feet. This time, piloted by a human. And finally, once all that is tested, they'd build permanent floating habitats near the cloud tops. The best part about this plan is that once you get 50 kilometers above the surface, the pressure is roughly the same as Earth's. The acid clouds thin out, and the temperature is a balmy 75 degrees Celsius. 167 Fahrenheit. 75 degrees is not balmy. At all. <laughs> Duh. Okay, Cloud City. You know, I was always considered the uh, Lando Calrissian of my friend group. It, yeah, you strike me more as the Jar Jar Binks of your friend group. Ah, oh, ouch! Uh, Misa's so hurt by that, uh, Peter. All right, uh, let's get some uh, balloons and have ourselves a Cloud City. A cloud building. Cloud habitat? I don't know. Yeah, I'll workshop these. Okay guys, I didn't see any suggestions on my uh, Kepler-186F video for what I should name my habitat, and uh, I need you guys to help me out here, okay? We're gonna name this habitat, and uh, I want there to be a vote, and to sweeten the deal, whatever name wins will be the name of every habitat that I build going forward, okay? And do not name this Habity McHabit face, okay? I swear to space, I will find you. Hey, my Venus 
Anyways, curious friends, I uh, resupplied and got some primo survival gear, okay? And I'm, uh, I'm about to start putting up some serious survival time, so I'm talking days, weeks, all right? So tune in, but I gotta focus. Who's got the venereal disease now, Peter? Check out that Zeppelin. That there is a fine Zeppelin, Chase. All right, guys, up next is designing my city. Getting the balloons working, building out the habitats. No time to kick up the feet, am I right? <laughs> Rico, where did I put my footstool? I thought I had it around here somewhere. Hey, 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 Jason! Okay, end of another uh, long day. Finally got this beauty all sealed up and uh, oxygenated. Had some issues with the uh, turbulence and high flying acid clouds, but overall, uh, pretty sweet day, right? You know, catch you guys on the flip. Nobody says that anymore, Chase. Come on. Ooh, technically, it hasn't been a long day on Venus. <laughs> what? I've been at this 24-7, Peter, and 24-7 means 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't. I'm just saying, Venus has a quirk where it doesn't rotate very fast. One year on Venus, or one trip around the sun, is only 225 Earth days, but one day on Venus, one full rotation, is 243 Earth days, so you've had a short Venusian work day. What? What does that mean in sevens? Like, how many 24 sevens? Uh, I, 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 I don't know how much that is. That doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm here for 100 Earth days. Okay, Peter? Regardless of how many sevens that is on Venus. Uh, it's a big day. Let's not uh, ruin it with math. Huh? All right, check it out. It's pretty bare bones. I just moved in, so uh, I got a bed over here and a lamp next to it. A book, huh? And a pretty minty view with some uh, Venetian blinds. Hole in my roof, a refrigerator. Go. Is that a hole in my roof? Yeah. Affirmative. How, how did... Uh, this is brand new. How did I get a hole in my roof? Yeah. Did you do any maintenance? No, I'm, I'm still building. Yeah. All spacecraft in extreme environments require regular maintenance. <laughs> regular maintenance? According to Peter, it hasn't even been a full Venetian workday on Venus. Well, even at higher altitudes, sulfuric acid droplets eat away at materials. If you delay maintenance, you'll get a leak in the hull. Or worse. Or worse? <laughs> okay, we need to fix this hole ASAP. Do you hear hissing? God, I hate 
hissing. It appears it is coming from multiple hoses. Did you perform acid resistant coating application on your main hose? Oh. <laughs> Rico, that's personal. Uh, no, obviously I did not. <sighs> That could be problematic. Oh, could it? Oxygen inside your habitat, mixing with the sulfuric gases in the Venusian atmosphere, can result in a fire inside your cloud's trailer. Okay, okay I'm checking it out. Uh... <laughs> Basically hot vinegar, but man, these clouds are beautiful. <sighs> hey, is it just me or are those clouds like streaked with something? Like like dirt. It kind of looks like it's got a smudge in it or something. It's not just you. Scientists have noticed dark streaks in the clouds, and they don't change much, even in high winds. It's possible that it's dirt or iron chloride, but it's also possible that it's extremophile microbes that have managed to survive and thrive in the clouds of Venus. Boy, whatever's in that cloud is alive? Man, whenever I strive to meet something alive, I died. If there's life on Venus, it wouldn't be talking and walking. It would just be microbial life, and you're in a spacesuit. So? Scientists actually want to send a probe to study rare biomarkers discovered in the Venusian atmosphere in trace amounts, phosphine and ammonia. These two gases are only produced by living organisms or industrial processes. Now, Maybe they're volcanic gases, but maybe they're microbes creating ammonia. Life. Yeah, cool. Um, those clouds are kind of getting a little close, huh? It's just a cloud. Hey, Chase Eds, I'm uh, probably not going to be posting as much in the next couple weeks because uh, I'm in the home stretch. So I'm going to be chilling as much as possible. I've already done all the work there is, you know? I made space for myself. I, I put the lamp in. Huh? I haven't plugged it in yet, but I will. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to sit here, maybe uh, read the What If 100 book, right? Listen to a little bit of Bananarama. You know, just kind of work on my own mental state. Get out of that black hole friend zone, you know? All right, peace. Oh, that makes sense. There we go. Uh, Rico, what's that alarm? Inbound fragments of nearby asteroids. Micrometeorites. Uh, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Uh, no, uh, no, my trailer. Chase Eds, okay, so, uh, well, we lost the habitat, but I managed to pop into this fine little baby, huh? I knew I built it for some purpose. We are so close to making the hundo, so 
I'm just gonna stay in here for nine more days. Ten days. Ten more days. Whatever. Ugh. So there's not really much to do here anyway. I really think that far ahead. Now my spaceship is uh gone? I I, I don't really know where that went. I must have drifted off while I wasn't looking. So uh, I'm gonna have to go find that if I wanna leave this hellhole. I told you I'd make it. <sighs> okay, so, Rico, let's leave this planet. Uh, we gotta, um, how do you do this again? Uh, Rico, ignition. may be named after the goddess of love, but it's not a particularly romantic spot to build a life. Still, it's possible that humans might find a way to exist here among the clouds of this alien planet. If our chase can survive 100 days with a few acidic misfires, well, maybe future generations will find a way too. For now, you'd be better off setting up a base on Mars. But that's a story for another What If.